Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my January inventory update. So we're going through the additions to my inventories, which are all from my Liberty Beauty Bowl. I will talk about this more in an introduction video, which sounds ridiculous when it's the end of January and I've not done that yet. But talking about my know by year and my beauty rehab plans for this year, one of the few things that I will keep going with is my Liberty Beauty box. These come once a quarter basically. So this was my January one. So I need to add this stuff in. And then these are my January empties. So we're taking this stuff out and seeing how that affects the overall numbers. From the Liberty box, I have got four skincare additions. Cultured Cleansing Balm, furthest on the right, that is worth £5.92. Cleanser next to it is worth £17.40. The serum at the furthest left is worth $33. And then the hand cream second from the left here is worth $12.48. So that gives me four items worth $68.80 that get added into my skincare. For my skincare empties, I've used up seven things worth $195.67. I really, really liked just to draw attention to this Medicaid SPF. It was quite a dry one, but I mean that in a really good way and that I just didn't feel that it took ages to sink in. I didn't feel like it left my face wet. I didn't experience any pilling of anything when I was moving on to my makeup, which I felt I was able to do more quickly than usual. So really, really like this. It was worth $74, so it's very expensive. And whether I'll be repurchasing it or not in the future is possibly up for debate at that kind of price point, but I did really, really enjoy it. That Barbara Sturm Serum is the same one that I added in, so it ad got added in and taken out within the same month, which I'm really, really pleased with. I used this Clarins Cleanser. I really, really enjoyed the smell of that. It's just their basic cleansing milk. This was worth $18, and I'm really happy given that I brought a cleanser in, and cleanser is one of my areas that's quite big. I'm glad that, although it wasn't the same cleanser that I got in and out in the month, that I got a different cleanser out so that my cleansers didn't go up in that sense and this one financially is also worth more. It was worth $18, whereas the Omravitsa one that I brought in is worth $17.40. Really pleased that, you know, the category overall is going down. My standard Kiehl's Serum Drunk Elephant Moisturiser I enjoyed. Nothing bad to say about any of this really, but those were definitely, the Medicaid was definitely the standout product. So that gives me seven items worth $195.67 out of my skincare inventory. Moving on to perfume, I had one perfume in the Liberty box to add in, Acampora Musk Gold. This little sample is worth $14.25. And then the only other thing that's left in the box is actually an air freshener, so I'm not going to count that into my beauty inventory, so that's the end of the additions. But while we're on perfume, I used one perfume up. I absolutely love this. It's from Clean Reserve and it's their Sweated Oud scent. It's just warm and woody, but quite clean and fresh really really lovely smell quite sad that it's done and this was worth $12.50 so I'm glad from a quantity point of view that it's been one in one out obviously the one that's come in is worth a little bit more value wise than the one that's come out but I'm hoping I'll be able to actually knock this sample out anyway probably this month I'll just try and concentrate on it and get it done I'm sure if I just take that into work I'll be able to use that and also still get some good use out of my Project Pan perfume my Project Pan intro will be coming quite soon, so do keep an eye out for that. But yeah, so fourteen twenty-five and one in, and twelve fifty and one out for perfume. Onto hair stuff, I don't have any hair care additions, but I did finish up this Davines Volu shampoo. I really did not like this. It left my hair sort of really sort of stringy feeling, you know, that really sort of squeaky clean, kind of not very nice way. I hope you guys know what I mean, but yeah, I will absolutely not be repurchasing this, but I did get it used up and it gives me one more item and $17 towards my empties. So I've used up $225.17 worth of products, added in $83.05 cents worth of products. As you can see my makeup inventory I've still not actually done it so I don't have the opening figures yet but as we all know makeup is never one that I've got loads of empties with anyway so I don't think that will massively be affecting these figures that I've not got around to that one yet but hoping to get that done next week so that we can move on and just get started with the outlines for my no buy year and my budget plans and everything that I've kind of got going on this year. Quantity wise I have added on five items and used up nine. Overall I've used more than I've added both quantity and value wise 
the Liberty box only comes once every three months, so that's the only thing that I'll be doing additions wise this year that aren't direct replacements. I feel like in other months we'll see much more kind of stark difference between those figures. But yeah, so that is my start to the year. We've got nine items and $225.17 towards my 2023 usage goals. Thank you very much for watching this one. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!